Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Uh, today we are at Irish Bayou, uh, or the Irish Bayou exit off of I-10, just on the south shore of Lake Pontchartrain. Um, and uh, we're going to take a ride across the Highway 11 bridge. And this is something that we haven't been able to do for the last three years because the bridge has been closed. Uh, today is April 3rd, and the bridge reopened on March 30th. Uh, which was a Thursday at 3 p.m. And uh, it had been closed since 2018. Uh, they did a $28 million project to um, do concrete and structural repairs and replace the grid decking on the, uh, the bascule drawbridge spans. Uh, and they did uh, electrical and mechanical work on the drawbridges. And that took them three years, and there was a lot of delays, and they claim it was because of the, uh, the pandemic and weather and various other things uh, that set them back in the repairs. Well, that was fun. So anyway, there's two things that are obviously different uh, on this bridge. Um, you can see that the, the guardrails have been replaced, but that did not happen on this project. They did that back sometime around 2015. They replaced the original concrete guardrails with metal guardrails, but the two drawbridge spans uh, have the little uh, operator houses or whatever you call them and they've been completely renovated. The one on the south end of the bridge was just boarded up for years, and now they got glass in them, and uh, I don't know if anybody actually uh, is gonna be in there operating the bridges. I don't know whether it's all automated now. And as far as I know, the southern bascule hasn't been opened in decades. Uh, the, the, the lanes for the marine traffic that, that need a drawbridge always went through the, the northern uh, drawbridge. Uh, now that may have changed now. I don't know whether they're going to start using the southern drawbridge as well. But uh, that's one of the major differences in what they, they they've, that you can see from before they did the repairs. It also appears that there's new decking on the, the drawbridges. Uh, but that's not really something that's obvious. So anyway, this bridge opened in 1928, so that's uh, 94 years ago. Uh, originally called the Pontchartrain Bridge, and then it was the Watson-Williams Pontchartrain Bridge, uh, which was a toll bridge. And then the Five Mile Bridge is something that they've kind of always called it. And uh, then it was later renamed the Maestri Bridge. It carries U.S. Highway 11. Uh, most people call it the Highway 11 Bridge. Uh, they don't really use the names. But Robert Maestri was the mayor of New Orleans from 1936 to 1946, so that came after the opening of the bridge. Highway 11 uh, was rerouted onto this bridge in 1941. Originally, Highway 11 went uh, uh, was was routed along with uh, Highway 90 through the Wrigley's and Chef Pass and then made its way northward from there. But in 1941, this became the route of Highway 11, and I believe that Highway 90 also ran along here at some point, but I'm not, I, I haven't really been able to find any evidence of that. I just remember reading it somewhere at some point. So uh, back during, or after Hurricane Katrina, in 2005, the I-10 twin spans, which, just, which are just off to our right, were heavily damaged uh, by the storm surge, and some actual, you know, spans came off the bridge, and so the bridge was closed. And with a, there was a drawbridge on Highway 90 that was out, so Highway 11 was the only way to get across the eastern end of Lake Pontchartrain, and so all of the traffic 
running between New Orleans and the North Shore was coming this way. And uh, they eventually fixed the twin spans and got that open again. And this bridge sees very little use nowadays. Uh, but for the people that live just at the northern end of this bridge who want to go to New Orleans, this is a big shortcut because working their way back to I-10 is a little more difficult than just hopping on the bridge and hitting I-10 at the South Shore. So, uh, you know, the people that live up on the North Shore in the Eden Isles area, and there's a there's a road called Car Drive that runs along the, uh, the lakefront to the west, uh, they, they're really excited about this bridge being reopened. So here it is, the Highway 11 bridge, reopened just now for five days. But that'll conclude our video. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, share and follow us on social media. And join us for our next 504 road trip.